I think, you know, with where we're at right now, 10 years into the organization, and the introduction of the Clean Water Corps, this, this new division of Waves for Water, uh, the veteran division, the end result has been this beautiful marriage of the soldier and the cowboy. First, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to do this. Primero es que quiero darnos las gracias pues por darnos la oportunidad, que le demos la oportunidad de traer este proyecto a nosotros a Colombia. My name is John Rose and I'm the founder of the organization Waves for Water. My colleagues are, and I are going to show you how these filter systems work, um, the different key pieces of information so that when we implement them into the community, you can share that with them. And I think uh, the last thing I'll say is I think by the end of the day, uh, you will have a new perspective on, on a way to help some of these communities. My name is Janice Marquez and I'm the Deputy Director of the Clean Water Corps. So when we arrived, the idea was to get together with several members of the Colombian Air Force to provide a uh, train-the-trainer approach to uh, water filtration. And train-the-trainer is important because we're giving the Colombian Air Force the ability to touch the communities that they engage with all the time and to do it far more often. That, that's the whole point behind all of this. We want to enable people to help those within their own communities. For me, it was really fascinating to see that they immediately understood what we were doing and why we were doing it. So we have many corporate partners that help facilitate these programs that we want to do around the world. Panerai stepped up, and this trip, as well as Honduras earlier in the year, were both Clean Water Corps pilot projects, meaning it's small scale, but we're using those and using the partnership to plant seed. Uh, Rob McQueen, I'm the Field Operations Director at Waves for Water, and I'm the Director of the Clean Water Corps. The Clean Water Corps is the veteran division of Waves for Water. Our mission is to provide access to clean water all over the world, specifically in disaster, conflict, and austere environments. In order to work in the remote areas we're working on, we partnered with the Colombian Air Force uh, to both provide security and help better connect uh, the government with the people that are in the isolated regions. This filter has a lifespan of one million gallons of water. So if you take this to your family and you take care of it, it can last you up to 20 years. So this community was really unique in that they had uh, access to running water, but they were pulling their water from wells that had been contaminated. And so we wanted to come up with a solution that allowed them to use the mechanisms that they already had. You only need three things. The filter, the adapter, and the balloon. This is one of the most emotional implementations that I've done. Just the warm reception and the genuine emotion that came out of the people that we worked with was something I'll remember forever. Early on in building the organization, it sort of landed on this idea that the perfect combination for the work that we do is half cowboy, half soldier. You know, you want spontaneity, the, the willingness to bend the rules and get it done. And then you want discipline, organization, strategy, tactics. With the introduction of the Clean Water Corps into Waves for Water, it's, it's been this beautiful marriage of the two things. Uh, I'm gonna say a sentence that she said earlier today. You, you're not bringing filters. You are bringing life because water is life.